Hello friends. Let's learn about parameters in information design tool while developing a newest design. Why parameters are needed and what is parameters? So, illustrating runtime parameters means parameter is a variable in the business layer or the data foundation that requires a value at runtime. So, it is used to uh, as a restriction of the data or, or the user can provide some uh, value. So it can have two input types, user input as a response to a prompt. So user will get a input prompt. So where user can enter his expected values and that based on that values, the data will be written. Or it can be a predefined input that specifies a fixed value for the parameter at runtime. So it can be a predefined filter we can say where we can create. So these are the two types and this is a screenshot where means there will be a a section of the parameters in the uh, information design tool uh, from where we can insert a new parameters. Let's see about uh, when we click on a new parameter, there are different different properties. We will see means the name will be parameter name. We can make it as a hidden as well means if uh, is there any uh, business requirement to hide that parameters and we need to use it internally. That also we can use this hidden parameter description. You can give some description about the parameter. What is it? For what purpose we we are going to use it? Then these pro options will be prompt to users. If you want to uh, prompt this uh, to the users, it can be you can enter the values here. What is the prompt text data type? You can use a string, numeric, or different uh, float or decimal like that. Then allow multiple values. If user can select multiple values uh, or just to select means if you want to have only select one value then you can uncheck this option keep last values so this is when we are uh, running uh, different times like uh, suppose first time I have run and I, again I'm second time running though it will show the fa last values which are selected index aware prompt is uh, again means if there is any numeric values and uh, like for foreign key or primary key then we can use this index of where prompt uh, values then associate a list of values we can associate a list of values which are uh, there in the universe if you have created any uh, we can select only from the list if you are using this uh, list of values default values you can set uh, constant or a formula as well means we can set so these are the properties different different properties which we can Use, uh, we will be seeing this in practically how we can use it and how uh, it is useful. So that's it from uh, this uh, unit. Uh, it's all about parameters. So let's understand means what is a parameter, what are two types of input parameters. So parameter is a variable in the business layer or the data foundation that requires a value at runtime. And which are the two input types of the parameters is user input and a predefined input. So this is all about uh, runtime parameters in, uh, in inverse design. I hope you have understood this concept. If you like my video, then please like it. Please subscribe to my channel as well so that you will get to know about my next unit video. Thank you for watching.